So people sometimes ask the question, what about my curves in my spine? Should I have them or should the spine be straight? That's a really good question and we want you to stay tuned for our next episode that we'll be addressing that here on Ask Dr. McCord. Welcome back. We have with us our plastic model here of our spine to show you and address that question about proper curves. Now, uh, that's a really good question because it needs to be thoroughly answered. From the uh, front or the back of the spine, now this person is facing you, looking at you straight on, the spine should be straight up and down with the center of the skull, the head, over the center of the sacrum, which is the triangular shaped bone down here at the bottom of your spine, it connected to your, your hips or your ilium. And so we want the spine to be straight up and down, but however when we turn the spine and look at it from the side, we should see four distinct properly maintained curves. Forward curve in the neck, backwards curve between the shoulder blades, a forward curve in the low of the back here where the belt would go on your pants, and then a backwards curve in the sacrum area. So those are the four distinct curves that should be maintained. Due to the fact that we live this lifestyle out in front of us all the time, what happens is these curves can actually become flattened. And that's not healthy for your spine. Dr. Alfred Bregg, a Swedish radiologist, says when, you're, when you lose the neck curve, for example, when the curve goes from a, a curve to a flattened curve, it actually can stretch the spinal cord about five to seven centimeters. That's about two to three inches. And when it does that, it actually slows the nerve signals, and he says it can actually cause pathological tension, putting the body into a state of disease. So when we do our workup and we look at the spine, spinal curves and when we take x-rays, and we do digital x-ray here so we can have those readily available, but when we take the side neck curve, we should see that distinct properly maintained curve. If not, we have a flattened curve or a reverse curve that's not good for a person's health. Remember, we heal from the inside out, so the healthier the core, the healthier the outer parts of the body. So obviously one thing that we want to do chiropractically, uh, chiropractically is we want to uh, realign the vertebra through what we call chiropractic adjustments, and then also we want to utilize some therapy. And, and here in front of me, I have a device called a posture pump. And basically, this is a, uh, a little miniature device that you would lay on. The patient would lay their back of their neck here, and I'll show you here on uh, using the spine how that would look. And so there's a billow right here that actually is pumped up by, by like a blood pressure pump. Uh, and if, I don't know if you can see that or not, but we'll lay that uh, spine down over the top of this, and we'll show you how taking a flattened curve, uh, again, by strapping the head in with the straps, the neck is laid over this, uh, this uh, billow here that's pumped up. Then the patient would pump up the uh, billow and it would help reinforce the curve that needs to be in the neck. And we do, that with uh, we do this procedure with patients that need this type of care following an adjustment. So yes, you do need curves in your spine when we're looking at it from the side. But from the, the front, we want to see the spine be straight. And that's what we really focus on here is optimizing your spine and nerve system function. And that's what we help you with so that you can live healthier into your uh, 80s, 90s, and 100s. And so uh, I know you're going to have lots of questions. We have a ton of information on kenteastchiro.com. That's our website. Please tune in there and look at some of that. Also, we have various other uh, Ask Dr. McCord series and uh, answers to commonly asked questions about care on our YouTube channel. So we want you to subscribe on that as well to go to Ask Dr. McCord and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And then also, we have upcoming S episodes, and we're not quite sure what we're going to be talking about, but I'll guarantee you it's going to be informative, it'll be exciting, and it'll be uh, helping you to live healthier well into your 80s, 90s, and 100s. Thanks again for joining us, and have a great week.